here we are, episode 21 of the Hashtag Nisto Bros podcast, live, as 21. you guys can see. Yeah, 21, man. Wow, 21. Yeah. 21 Savage. Right. 21 Savage, 21 Legal to Drink. Yeah. 21 just episodes, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Next up is uh, the uh, good old Taylor Swift. I don't know about you. <laughs> I am feeling 22. I am feeling 22. It's going to be good. I got to start. I got to, I got to call up Booker T and let him know that I've been, uh, I've been doing it. (laughs) Yeah. Cause he's going to, he's going to start to get mad. I I shout him out every time I do it. I say, you know, my good friend, friend of the pod, Booker T. Oh, sorry. I'm flipping around the pen because I got my whiteboard. A little different style. Set it side by side. We're going all the way down the bracket here. Let's That's read good. it off. Yeah, let's read it off. Well, you know, for for the people that we got on and everybody yeah, else that sure. comes in, we'll uh, we'll take it. Yeah. This first matchup is not even fair. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm throwing it out. We did a random generator for the uh, the Adam Sandler bracket Hall of Fame list. And this first matchup is ridiculous. So I'm going to go over the bracket. Then we'll go into uh, the birthdays, you know, the whole spiel. We got Happy Gilmore versus Billy Madison. That's a first round matchup. That's ridiculous. It, it is what it happened. Like the random number generator. That's random, what happened. Random number generator is out to get us. Yeah, that's, that uh, is, that's, a, final, that's a finals matchup. Yeah. That's a finals matchup in the first round. That's seed one versus, like, seed 1A. Like, it's not fair. Uh, 50 first dates versus Big Daddy. And then the other side, we got anger management versus click. And then water boy versus a wedding singer. So, it's it's going to be good. Yeah, we're uh, I'm very, very excited for that. And I hope you guys are, too. And hopefully... Hopefully, you guys in the live chat can, uh, you know, if we have any disagreements, try to settle them. You know, that's the uh, that's the whole reason we do these Hall of Fame yeah. episodes live, so we can have that input from the fans. Oh yeah, my goodness, that first matchup is going to be it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tough for make sure. or break. But uh, let's get into these birthdays that really hurt my hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to the late great Michael Jackson! If I wasn't sitting in the chair, I would pre- try and do a moonwalk. I'll do it sitting. I just like move my feet around. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, yeah, Billy wow. Madison, greater than Happy Gilmore. We my got buddy, some... my buddy Christian. Shout out to Christian. He he's the one. That's the one that did the uh, the the rooms. He did the rooms. The uh, the room. Oh oh yeah. Uh, su- suggestion. He sent that DM in from uh, episode like yeah, eighteen or something. That so. was I think that was eighteen. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Michael Jackson. He he passed away on my middle school graduation. It was wow. one of those days that like you just like don't forget. Of course, of course. It was so, I remember. It was so yeah. weird. Like I was just sitting there graduating and uh people are like yo michael jackson died michael jackson died i'm like yo guys like we're trying to graduate we're trying to graduate middle school here like what are we doing this is, this is real important man and what about yeah. you know uh, so yeah michael jackson happy birthday another weird thing that happened that day is completely off topic but uh the orlando magic signed vince carter that day wow wow yeah what a, what a memory what, dude what a memory <laughs> you know it, it was just one of those things you know it's like michael jackson died i was i was in my magic phase with dwight yep. howard my my friend at the time matt called me and was like yo we got vince carter because <laughs> he was also a dwight howard magic guy and we're like yo i was at red lobster wow a little, I can remember uh, graduation uh, yeah. dinner, huh? A little graduation red lobster, you know, had some had some biscuits or, you know, those mm, delish. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little uh, bonus on this day. Vince Carter yeah, got little bonus, a little bonus <laughs> on this day of uh, Vince Carter signed by the Magic and I had red lobster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so happy birthday to Michael Jackson, RIP. Um, and then our other birthday 
or one of our other birthdays is to a retired pitcher, Roy Oswalt. Oswalt. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, I say Oswalt. Not related to current Mets pitcher, Corey Oswalt. Oswalt. Uh, yeah, they're not related. Not uh, related. R- Roy put out a tweet earlier in the season. I was, I, I mean, I didn't look it up, but I was like, oh, they're probably related. You know, pitcher, he retired, you know, it was maybe right. his son or his nephew or something like that. I don't think he's old enough to have a son in the big leagues yet. I don't know. He's like 40. Maybe he had a young kid. Yeah, that's like, true. A kid when he was that's young. True. I don't know. But, uh, you know, he, he was a pretty good pitcher for the uh, he was the, the dirty Strohs. but they weren't they weren't dirty no. yet though. No, uh, he, before he, got in he was also on the Phillies. Yeah, Phillies. he was also on the Phillies, Phillies. Are also pretty gross, but uh, there was that uh, there was that really long game between the Phillies and the Mets, and Roy uh, took left field and he made like a nice catch or something like that. I remember that's crazy. I don't remember that. Yeah, didn't he also have like a cup of tea with the Yankees too? Mm, maybe I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm looking it up. Okay, I was gonna. We got to know. We gotta, it. We're gonna fact check this one. Okay, Roy. I, I think he Oswald. did. Oswald. I say Oswald actually. I say Oswald. Roy. Roy Oswald. Let's see. Roy Oswald. He played for the Houston Astros in 2001 to 2010. Oh wow. The Lost. Philadelphia Phillies, 2010 to 2011. You like that, right? Yeah. The Texas Rangers in 2012 and the Colorado Rockies in 2013. Huh. No Yankees. No Yankees. Interesting. But uh, pretty impressive uh, accolades there. Yeah, good for sure. Sweet dude. Uh, and then, oh man, I, almost, I thought I, uh, I thought I just did something catastrophic. <laughs> um, and then last, last but not least, birthday, happy birthday. To my personal friend, and that's not a joke, uh, my personal friend, Charlie, if you're watching this, though, Eats yesterday, that's who it was. It was it's his birthday today. He's effing old, and uh, so am I. <laughs> but uh, happy birthday to my good friend, Charlie. Uh, I wish he was able to jump on the live, but he has church things, which always will take priority. Yep. Happy birthday, Charlie. Really appreciate the support. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So speaking of Charlie and Nisto Eats, uh, yeah. how about we uh, hop into the episodes? Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll kick it off since I did a little pretty, a pretty good segue there. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Nisto Eats went to Hurricane Grill and Wings in Hopog, Hopodge, uh, <laughs> if, if you're a GPS. And... Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty good. I mean, and nice shirt. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, saw, I saw a little peak. I saw a little peaks peaks ski peaks down. Look at that! I got my I got a hoodie on. Yeah, you can get hoodies too. The hoodies fire. Just, just saying, it's super comfortable, super soft, and uh, yeah, get them. So Nisto Eats went to uh, Hurricane Grill and Wings Hot Podge, and like I panned it real quick in the uh, in the video. There was like the I don't even know what it was for. Like I thought maybe it was for the menus, but like it wasn't holding menus. It had nothing on it. Where I was resting my phone, I was like, "This is like made for Nisto Eats." It's like they knew. Um, you know, once word got around, they're like, people were telling me to go there. Make it, yeah, make you know, they, pro- they had to install. It. They had to install it, uh, which makes sense. You know, so yeah, it was really good. I I remember commenting on the. Uh, Garlic parm uh, broccoli, fire! It was amazing. It sounds good. Yeah, I I saw it on the menu. I was like, this is this is gonna be good. Like, I have to try this. Um, you know, something I didn't get to try in the video, but yeah, it was was really delish. Uh, really, really good. Charlie also got some garlic parm uh, fries, which were also really good. Uh, I've had better. Uh, garlic parm fries, um, but they were still really good. Yeah, um, yeah. But overall, I would definitely go back there. I, I want to try the uh, the one the, the ones. Kogi. Yeah, Koji Koji Kogi. Uh, how did I say it there? And I asked I asked the waitress. I said I think I said Kogi, and she said Yeah, that's how that's how you pronounce it. But we're actually all out. And I said 
well, F you, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it was pretty good. I'd go back there. I but, always I always uh, pass it on the expressway, and yep. I'm always like, oh, I got I gotta try that place out, and I I still never have. Um, and, it's a um, weird it's a weird location, right? You know, yeah. it's it's a that weird shopping spot. Shopping center is for sure. Yeah, shopping center is a bit bit odd. It's a bit yeah. weird, but you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. It was good. I would go back. The boss thing. Whoever sent the heart, I see you. Uh, the uh, the boss was uh, was off. You know, it was mm-hmm. good. It just tasted like buffalo. It just tasted right. like buffalo, though, which isn't bad. But like I said in the video, it was not what I was looking for or expecting. Yeah, uh, I was. I'm inter- I it, It's a weird thing, though, to like say that there there's a um, like a spice to a garlic parm. Like I, f- I feel like if yeah. they executed it well, that could be like a really interesting flavor. For um, sure. But like you said, that you know they kind of missed the mark. But I hope I would be sorry. I would no, be interested ahead. to see like when I go there. I think I would try like just their garlic parm because you said like the the broccoli was really good, and I just feel like you said that's kind of like their signature deal. They got a lot of different garlic parm stuff, so maybe going straight garlic parm would be uh, yeah. a, a good move there. That's probably what I would do. And uh, I I went to uh, my reference here because I I actually sent you the picture of right, the signature right. flavors. So the description on the boss flavor was Pax, uh, Pax a tangy kick with our garlic parm blend. Yeah. And uh, it missed that garlic parm blend. It was a kick yeah. and that was it. It was very much like a buffalo. The, uh, the ko- Kogi, it's called, it's, and it says new on the menu. Kogi yeah. secret weapon. Uh, sweet garlic soy sauce. It piqued my curiosity. For Unfortunately, sure, for didn't sure. get to try it. But uh, I'm going to have to go back and try it. For sure. Um, I did this last week, too. I skipped over the on this day. We went to Nisto Eats first. And then when I went Son to... of a gun! We did what? do that. We yeah, did do that. I did, I did that last week, too. We did. Um, so before I go over Nisto drinks, we're going to address very quickly... The on this day, it's a good it one a, too. It's a it's a crazy one. So it's, maybe it's maybe it huge. will be more than a little bit quick. So on this day in 1997, what is that? That's 23 years ago now. Yeah, Netflix was founded as a company. <sighs> Both of us could not believe that Netflix has been around for 23 years, and. That's nuts. It's just insane that this was the day that like Netflix was founded. Yeah, twenty three years ago. It it started out as uh, as actually like a DVD rental. It was like a red box type of deal. Um, yeah, as as crazy. It, Netflix is older than you, and it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And that, and know. now it's it's just taken on such a like a, yeah. a different uh, life form and and really. Uh, kudos to them i say to be able to see that and adapt their you know their business and go to where they uh you know saw the future going you know what 100%, I'm saying? 100%. that's crazy that they were able to go ahead and do that oh no i lost my joke oh it's all right I'll, I'll, I'll i'll get to it in the end okay but yeah nisto uh we're older than netflix yeah yeah <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'll be very honest. I don't like it. We're, yep. we're freaking old. We're freaking old. But uh, Nisto drinks. What'd you do? You, so have, you week, tried something that was uh, that was suggested from Amber. Yes, good friend shout, Amber. I don't know shout, if she's still on the on the. Yeah, shout right. out to Amber. Uh, you know, if you're listening this back, if you're still in the live, whatever. Um, For the suggestion, you know, I'm still going through the suggestions, still got some in the pipeline, Um, but I went out to a good old Baskin Robbins, hit the drive-thru up, and said, can I get that small strawberry milkshake with peanut butter sauce added? And so here's a few things. I I mentioned this briefly in the review. When I got the, the... beverage itself there was just like a a little circle of peanut butter like right on the top 
on the and top. then right on top like it was just like plopped right on top almost but it was like pretty liquidy and i i put the straw in and it like dispersed it was just like not there anymore bang sponsor us we always get to this point in the pod what the heck we gotta say bang what are you guys doing where are you in the live where are doing. you guys doing Let me, i'm gonna send it to him right now okay uh i will Dang. keep going on here that um and then the so... peanut butter was just gone so i try to mix it around a little bit and pretty much all i got was Sent that was that strawberry like it's classic strawberry ice cream strawberry milkshake flavor right on the oh first sip. Got some and, and Amber did say it tasted like the Co- uh, Captain Crunch berries. And I said, right. yeah, I, I see that with, with the strawberry taste for sure. Like that it's kind of got that sweet, um, you know, not necessarily, you know, berries, but like the, I don't know, like the sugary balls, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Then the next sip, I just get pretty much straight peanut butter like i'm just drinking like a liquidy peanut butter i'm like what's going on here yeah so it's kind of similar to the boss wings i think like poor execution good idea good idea so i don't know if amber had a different experience with this if she was able to uh you know if it was mixed more if she got a better uh she got a better shake maker but you know, obviously, the thing was, though, is, like, it, at the end of the day, it's a strawberry milkshake, and that's not going to get that low of a score, you know, unless it's, right. like, spoiled or something, you know? Uh, it, it was still very solid. So, that's what I got to say on Nisto drinks. Uh, yeah. I, I also noticed, sorry, there was a bit of a car AC going on. It was... uh yeah, you know, if, if you guys heard that in the audio, I apologize for that. But next week, I, it was my uh, second day of classes, so I was a little bit scrambled with everything. I think we'll, I'll be more organized for next week. Makes sense. I want to do something here. Since okay. I sent this, I sent I sent the live to Bang. Okay. Bang Energy. Everyone watching right now, hit the little <laughs> envelope thing and send it to them. Full send it. Send it to Bang Energy and be like, yo, they are waiting for your sponsorship. Just just do it. Anywho, I'm going to say it another few more times. Uh, I'm freaking out because I can't find my joke that I had for later. But You don't remember it? So, uh, I don't, actually, because I'm a chump, oh, man. But uh, it happens. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Oh, maybe if I think hard enough, I'll, I'll remember it. Maybe if I didn't have 67 tabs open. That's a good one. You know? Mm-hmm. I have too many tabs. Whatever. Uh, Whatever. But we will. Go ahead. Sorry. We will transition uh, here to the. The bracket! The Nisto Bros Hall of Fame Adam Sandler movie bracket. I yeah, am so pumped not, up for this. Not sponsored by Go Diva. Not sponsored by Go Diva. And not sponsored by Bang either. Remember, send it to them. It's Bang <laughs> Energy. You hit the little envelope next to the comment and then you send it to them. Full send. Do it. Um, Do it. I can't find my joke and I'm freaking out. <laughs> I blame it's on I blame it on Bang. You know, if they just I don't know what happened. I don't know how. It's not even in my history. What kind of tomfoolery is that, iPhone? Like, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Could you just, I had it open. Could you just search the same thing and then get yeah, to thought, the same Yeah, I thought so, and I can't find the link it anywhere. Just, yeah, it disappeared. Probably just, yeah, it probably just deleted it from the internet. Probably. I'll just have to find a new one. It's fine. Okay. But anyway, bracket. Bracket time. Adam, Adam Sandler. Send this to Adam Sandler, too. You know what? I'm going to send it to Adam Sandler. Adam. So we, we saw earlier, we uh, tweeted at him, or Mike did, and I Sandler. retweeted it, that Adam Sandler was trending because somebody posted it, like, 
like which who's better, Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler, and it prompted thirty five thousand tweets. Of course, everyone's saying, "Oh, Adam Sandler's the goat." Adam Sandler's the goat uh, because he is. So um, that's what we believe. You know, no shots at Jim Carrey for sure. He's got some great films out there, Sounds but uh, you know, Adam Sandler is definitely the goat. And we will be yeah. now deciding which of his movies we think deserves to go in the hashtag Nisto Bros Hall of Fame to join Giannis, Sprite, and Cheerios. Wow, our our Hall of Fame is so awesome. Adam greater say. than Jim from Amber. Amber yes. didn't get to hear her shout out before, but shout out to Amber. For sure. Hashtag be like Amber, buy our merch. Buy the merch for sure. Be like Amber. Be like Amber. I'm going to have to. I have to find a new joke. Forget the joke. First yeah. round matchup is not fair. Can we do that one last? Can sure. we start, Let's do the, last. start yeah. from the bottom now we're here? Yeah. What? Start. We, we did start from the bottom and we will get there. So uh, Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So then the actual first matchup, Waterboy versus Wedding Singer. Both are good. Very Both good. Both are good. Um, I have, <laughs> I think I have my answer off Go the bat though. I don't, um, I, I haven't seen either in a, in a while though. I will say that, um, yes, I, you I know, agree as well, um, you know, they're not, I don't think they're played as much as some of the other ones on TV here and there. Um, uh, and anyway, my, my, uh, my vote right off the bat is for water boy. Okay. Um, it is not for Wedding Singer. I think Wedding Singer is still very solid. That was one of his earliest movies, uh, Wedding Singer, I believe. I remember it. I remember it. I'm going to write okay. it down. I'm, I'm going to write it down. I couldn't find it, but I'm going to okay. write it down. Mike's spending seven minutes on the joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying I'm, I, it was a good one. I liked it a lot. It was cute. Okay. I bet it better pay off. Amber, Amber's going to like it. I know okay. Amber's going to like it. Uh, You're that, you got to stick around for the joke, Amber. You got to stick around for the end. <laughs> Keep talking about Waterboy while I type this. <laughs> Waterboy, you know, there's the uh, uh, just that encapsulation of Adam Sandler and his uh, the that's like the prime Adam Sandler voice, and I think I like just like the plot overall of the story of um, Bobby Boucher over uh, over the Wedding Singer a little bit more. Okay, good. All right. What do you think? I am going to agree with you on the okay. water boy. Um, I do like both the wedding singer. Um, I don't know. I like it. I know my mom likes the wedding singer. She also likes water boy. But for me, I would probably, if I had to pick between the two, like if someone was like, here, here's a DVD right. of either. Which one are you going to pick? I'm probably going to pick Waterboy more times yeah. than The Wedding Singer. Yeah, so I'm going to sure. write Waterboy, Advancing, Water. I, I feel like it's a little bit more uh, classic, too. There's a, there's yeah. some more classic moments to it. I agree. I agree. You know, I feel like Waterboy is referenced more than Wedding Singer. You know? You, yeah. Yeah. So, Wedding Singer, sorry. But Waterboy... On to the next round. The next matchup is Anger Management versus Click. So yes. it's a bit of an older movie for him, and then a little bit of a newer movie for mm-hmm. him. So, yeah. what uh, what are your thoughts? Because you just you just watched Anger Management for the yes. first time this week. I just watched Anger Management for the first time this week. Uh, so it's fresh in my mind. Click, not as fresh in my mind, of course. I haven't seen it in a minute, but. Nice. Um, I click makes me cry every time. Same. Yeah. I, I what I was just gonna say is I think I like the the premise of Click quite a bit more than than Anger Management. Um, if, for those of you who haven't seen Anger Management, there's a little spoiler. Well, I, I won't say it, but like I like got the ending like ten minutes in, like the, the oh whole, really? Like, That's big, so- yeah, like the whole big reveal. Like, mm. I figured it out like pretty quick, and I was like, "When is it gonna? When is it gonna?" And then they waited till like the very end for it. So, 
Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So smart, I don't know. I still like it. Lad. I still really like it. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was very funny. There was. Uh, there was definitely some funny moments with uh, Galaxia, and uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot in there. So definitely uh, different movies for sure. What are your thoughts? Uh, where are you kind of leaning? I, uh, man, it's tough because I haven't really seen. I haven't seen Click in a while. Anger Management is a little more same. fresh, but I haven't really seen it that often either. Um, I really like Click, but I think I'm giving the nod to Anger Management. I mean, him and Jack Nicholson are <laughs> just like, what a duo. Yeah, and, for sure. And Jack can play like any role ever, I think. Right. And also... Marissa Tomei is is Bay, you know. Yeah, so she is. She it's is. hard to it's hard to not, you know, not pair. her. And even though like she's not like she's like she's a pretty big role, but she's not like in the movie a lot. If that yeah, if that makes sense. But she's still Bay, and uh, I'm I'm saying anger management. I think oh sugar honey iced tea. I don't know where my marker went. Uh, I'll find it. I don't know. But I for me the thing. anger management gets my vote. The thing for me what is like, heck? I feel like I'm, I may, I should have done a little bit more uh, revisiting on Adam Sandler before I, before this, because I, I feel like I don't have as vivid of like an image, like of everything that happened in Click that might like overtake it for me. But ang- anger management yeah. is so fresh in my mind that like, I feel wrong, <laughs> like combating and like oh i feel like click is better because i i just don't you can't even remember so, yeah right Boop. uh but yeah i i think i'm i'm comfortable sending anger management for sure i really did enjoy it and i thought it was uh it, it, it got pretty ridiculous and i like that for i'm sure. putting i'm putting am okay for anger management understand that is on to the next round i agree i i like click haven't seen it in a minute but like I can't really remember much of it except for like the ending where I cry. All I remember from Click is when he hits <laughs> slow mo. Watch it. Yeah, that is uh, quite relatable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I'm going. I'm going mm-hmm. anger management. Also from from Click. Now I'm starting to remember stuff. Bed Bath and Beyond. It's in the Beyond section. I work there. And I can promise you that's not what the Beyond section is like. I wish it was. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's not. But anyway, the next I, matchup. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I just want to say before we get to the next matchup, I think I'm going to be like watching Adam Sandler movies for the next week. Cause, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just, it's just getting me uh, in the mood for sure. Um, 100%. Next matchup is sorry, Big Daddy versus 50 First Dates. Now, Mike. Uh, has never seen Fifty First Dates, so I'm going to explain the premise really quick to him. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm sorry to expose you there, but you know we got to no, okay. be honest with the fans here. Cause... I think I sa- I said it last week that I haven't seen it, and uh, I was I was going to try and watch it, but I I did not get to watch it. So I, I'm saying it now. By default, I have to vote Big Daddy because and I we got to and we got to vote for Big Daddy in the comments. Shout out yep. to Joey for uh, yeah. being being on the live. Um, Thanks, Joey. Joey Pay. I really, really like Fifty First Dates. Yes, it's it's what it's it's one of those movies where if I see it on TV, I have to watch it. That's that's the level. Oh man, we got another one for Big Daddy. I'm guessing that's what you mean, Amber. Big Daddy. Um, Big Day. Daddy okay. is better. So I, Ooh. I'm okay with sending Big Daddy through for sure. But I just need to say, Fifty First Dates so good, man. Drew Barrymore. So you know the she's premise, also, Mike. She's also Bay. Yeah. So uh, I think I think so. It's uh, she she has like short term memory loss or something. Yeah. And, he has uh, to make her fall in love with him every day. That's it's so cute, man. That is and so it's cute. funny. And we got Rob Schneider in there. Being Rob like, Schneider is so good. He's got like a, a lazy eye and he's really weird and it's just come he's on so, man. He's so good at that. He's in Big Daddy though too. You know he's a funny guy. Yes. 
Yeah. He's a big daddy. He's the delivery boy. <laughs> oh, man. Big daddy was solid. Uh, yeah, I guess we do have to go big daddy. Big daddy. The kid is Dylan and Cole Sprouse. It is. I think it was more Cole than Dylan, if I remember. Yeah. I think I, so, I could be but that up. They, I, I'm not really sure, but they were both, both uh, Frankenstein. Yes, they were. They were. So, Big and, Daddy. Sorry. No, no, I'm it's, just saying. Big Daddy is, is Big really Daddy's good, Big Daddy's going too. on. I'm going to put. I'm just remembering it more now. And, oh, all right, you know. Needed. What do you want to eat? 50 packets of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Yeah. It's so good. I have. To, I still have to watch 50 First Dates for sure, but Big Daddy is it's just too good. It's too good. Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, I'll share this. When I was a kid, uh, I told my mom, I want my first son to, I want to name him Frankenstein uh, <laughs> because of that movie. So that's um, awesome. <clears throat> sorry, future wife, but our first son is going to be Frankenstein. Yeah. You not said not, it, so not actually. Happen. Not actually. The, the moment I have been not waiting for this first round matchup, which is so unfair. I don't mm-hmm. like this. Happy Gilmore. Versus Billy Madison. It's not fair. It's, it's not, not fair. It's not fair that this is a first round matchup. Um, uh, I, 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 go ahead. I mean, like I that's his like say. that's the company he founded after Happy Madison Productions. You know, it, it's because those are the like his two like the big ones that he uh, really popped off for. And, uh, and I'm gonna he, say this. I'm gonna say this now. While we're talking about this, I, I, the comments need to help us on this. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. We did I'll have we did it. have a vote before for Billy Madison greater than Happy yes, Gilmore. You're right. You're right. We did. Christian. We did. Shout see out that. to Christian. Um, but yeah, go ahead. We definitely need some help in the comments. It's so hard because bo- they're just both so. Now we got a Happy Gilmore. Both classics, you know, yeah, it's, we almost like don't have anything to say for them because they yeah, just they speak have for themselves. so many. Um, yeah, they speak for it's, themselves. I, how do you pick between Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison? It's just it's not even fair. Uh, like you said, I don't even know what to say. Mark has always happy. I mean, yes, I am. Get it, Mark? Yes. Yes, I am. Mark gets it. If you know, you know. Mark is a yes man. I'm going to say it. We're, we're, we're live. Mark is a yes man until next month. Ask him anything. He's got to say yes. Anything within reason, of course. Yeah. So, sorry, Mark. Love you, bro. But, uh, yeah, I've been uh, taking my, yes. my opportunity there. You got to cash in. It's like money in the yeah, bank. For sure. You got to cash in. <laughs> Literally. You got you to gotta do it. Mark can have a dollar. (laughs) See, see that he would have to say yes because it's not breaking the bank. If you said, "Hey, Mark, can I have like a couple thou?" thou?" Then he's gonna be like, "No, go go scratch, kick rocks, bro." But uh, no, (laughs) but a dollar, homie's got to pay for the dollar menu, which is a good idea. I think I'm going. I'm going over there for lunch afterwards. So, Mark, get get that wallet ready, big boy. No, I'm just kidding. Love that guy. Shooter Happy McGavin. Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Billy Madison. Mark says yes. <laughs> he has to. He has to. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Shooter McGavin. You got you got uh all the frick. What's his name? Uh the 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 bad guy in Billy Madison. I can't remember his name. The uh uh the guy that's What's trying to take name? over his dad's yeah, I know, company. I know. Eric. Uh, Eric, yeah, Eric. Sleazy Eric. A jerk. You know what? I my vote, I'm saying it right now, it's for Billy Madison. I, I Okay. Think... Praise God. Because I was about to say it too. Okay. I was all about right. to say Billy Madison. Wow. Because okay. I can t- it, it's it's tough though. It's, very it's tough. tough. There's no wrong answer there. No. But I'm going Billy Madison because after we said Eric, I thought of Carl the like butler guy (laughs) and like he was about to like start making out with the teacher and he comes in and he's like carl good to see you (laughs) and (laughs) what 
<laughs> when I was working at Bed Bath and Beyond, me and the, my other coworker Mike, ironically, would always say that to our friend Carl. <laughs> <laughs> we were do we were working inventory. Carl would come up, and every day we would say it. So, uh, oh my goodness, yeah. So that I'm I'm writing it down. Billy Madison. Wow. Sorry to the. Uh... I mean, we didn't have a disagreement there. It was just a very hard oh. decision. So, um, that that's, is insane. It's insane, Billy Madison. It, it's that's it's tough though. It's tough. It's really tough. But uh, oh my goodness, yeah, Billy Madison. I I I have to watch it. Yeah. Back to school. <laughs> that's so, snack pack. Everything about it. Yeah, snack yes. packs. Oh my goodness. All right, without keep going into it too much, let's go back to the bottom, the bottom bracket here. Here we are. For the semifinals, we got Anger Management versus Waterboy. Yes, we have AM versus AM Anger Management. Yeah, WB. Where are you you thinking on this one? Because I did a lot of talking. I did a lot of talking on the Waterboy before. Right. So what, what I'm coming out and saying it right now. Uh, what Joey P said. Joey P and I, same wavelength. I'm going Waterboy right out the gate. I'll back it up. It's just – it's such a classic. They're both so good. But I'm going Waterboy. I feel like I make more Waterboy references um, than I would an anger management reference. Like I say Goose Fraba all the time for, <laughs> for anger management. But it's like – Waterboy is just so classic. Waterboy best movie says Kelly. Ooh, well, mm. Kelly, Waterboy well, is potentially getting into the finals. So. For sure. I, I'm I'm supporting it. I'm moving Waterboy, Waterboy. is in the finals. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm gonna go back to like what I just said about anger management before. Uh, you know, I kind of like the the plot was, you know, I, per, for me, like a little predictable, and I got there, you know, kind of early. And uh, but it, you know, it still had its funny moments, but there was, you know, some lulls there. And I think, like you said, not as uh, renowned, classic, well, uh, widely loved, well received than yes. Waterboy. And now this is, so we're going on to the other semifinals, and you know. We have another two classics here. I was going to say, this is another really tough one between yeah. Billy Madison and Big Daddy. Um, it's very, very difficult. It is. You know, because they're just both so good. Yeah, they are. Like, they're, oh, don't get me wrong. They're all so good. Let's yeah. be real. But, like, we, we talked about Big Daddy a lot. We talked about Billy Madison a lot. What what are you thinking? I'll let you decide first on this one. Yeah. One thing I have to say right off the bat is that, you know, a oh, frick. If it was solely up to me and just mm-hmm. me, Big Daddy wouldn't have went to the second round. I'm saying oh, that wow. right now. Like it was hey. just me. Obviously, I know like, you know, we got the fans and uh and I'm very I love the movie. 50 ketchup packets. <laughs> Joey's bringing it back up. Yeah, he said it still stands. That's yeah. against Billy Madison. That, yeah. We could have that's, the under we could have the underdog here. That's uh strong words, man. I don't know. I, I feel like I've seen Billy Madison more times, which is, you know, definitely influential in my decision here. I I feel like I'm leaning Billy Madison, but I feel like I feel like I didn't like the um the whole you know the kind of fall you know like in Adam Sandler movies a, a lot of times there's like a fall like the fall of the character mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like you know Billy Madison he falls back into like his like partying whatever gotta and, go, yeah got to go to school he, and then yeah right and he's got to go back and then like the whole like lawyer custody thing I don't know I, I didn't really uh it didn't – I liked it. I didn't like it as much in Big Daddy. I'll say that. I don't know. What do you think, Mike? It's tough. And, it, and it Joey, P, Joey P is all over the Big Daddy train. Um, he's definitely got his vote on Big Daddy. And it's really tough, man. It's really tough. I 
think I would have to go with Billy Madison for me. Billy Madison, I think, is going to be my pick. It's tough, but uh, I'm trying to think, like, if Happy Gilmore versus Big Daddy was the option. Like, because I think Billy Madison versus Happy Gilmore was a tougher decision. That's true. And I think if it was Happy Gilmore versus Big Daddy, I think I might have even – I think I would have went Happy Gilmore. Like, Big Daddy – no shots point. on Big Daddy. Big Daddy's just got, you know, got snubbed with the matchups. Yeah, for but, sure. Um, Scuba but I, Steve. I, but, Scuba Steve. <laughs> I, that's what I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of, like, all the different, like, sub – like, uh, side characters. Like, the – Like, the, the penguin. The principal. Oh, my God. Who, who turns into the wrestler. <laughs> In Billy yeah. Madison, <laughs> he sends him the he sends him a Valentine's Day card. Yeah, <laughs> it says some inappropriate things yeah. on the card, but if you know, you know. But yeah, the principal, uh, Carl and Eric, um, uh, the the guy, uh, the guy that's putting <laughs> putting lipstick on. Yeah, um, that's Steve Buscemi, the yes, cop. Like, for some reason, I couldn't remember his name. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I think – are you agreeing that Billy Madison to yes, the finals? Yes, I'm sorry. Hopefully, we don't lose Joey P as a fan here. Sorry, I know Joey P. He's big on Big Daddy, but uh, I think we got to send – we got to send Billy Madison to the finals. And then we have Billy Madison versus Waterboy. Oops. Mike's writing it in here on the bracket um, for the finals. Where it is. Finals. Billy Madison versus Waterboy was the longest lo- yard on the list. The longest yard was not on the list. Um, honorable mention of the longest yard. Reason being that it was not on there. It, it was a remake. It was a remake of the original. I thought it would have been a, a little disrespectful to the, um, to the original, though the longest yard is a great movie. Um, there was a lot of uh, obviously. There's a lot of yeah, of course to go there, through. There was a lot of them. Um, yeah, I thought of uh, the longest shard before, but yeah, it was. Um, it would have been. It would have been a little rude to the original, I guess. And also, I just I think these other movies, you know, stand tall. Yeah, for but sure. Longest shard was was considered for sure. Um. We are running a bit low. We got 15 minutes left on the live until it kicks us off. Yes. So what I'm going to say is I'm pretty confident we go 3-2-1 and we announce yeah, the, I think, the I Hall think of honestly, Fame winner. I think this one's going to be a unanimous decision, but uh, I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I'm with the countdown, and then we say the winner. Our I, mean, well, uh, I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, I think so too. Just knowing us, you know? Yeah. And okay. how, how it's gone. But let's do it. All right? Okay. Three, two, one. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Okay. Yes. There it is. A little, little off on the timing, but yeah, Billy Madison. It, Billy Madison writing it in. Billy Madison. No, Unanimous no decision. No disrespect to Waterboy. Um. There it is, the bracket. Billy bracket, Madison. Here's the full brack. And I hope Nuts. all you guys, along with me, throughout the next week or two, or we're on an Adam Sandler binge. I'm yeah. going binge I'm going it. through to uh to watch as many as possible, I think, because this just got me so <laughs> but the fourth Hall of Famer here, we we gotta make a str- we gotta make a tough uh, bracket. It is, it is very tough, right? And you know tough. the random, the random, you know, number generator. It could have been, it could have been way different, you know. Could have been um, the first, the first matchup, Happy Gilmore versus Billy Madison. I think honestly uh, determined the winner, at least for me. I think either one of them could have won. Yeah, I think that being in the first round was just like that. Literally, could have been the finals. Right, and I think I'm very confident that that would have been the finals if the bracket, you know, lined up that way. I think that would have been the finals easily, mm-hmm. but uh, it's not how the cards were, were dealt. Yep. 
I, well, I feel like we got to make... Tough bracket, indeed. I'm going to make... I don't know when I'll do this, but I'm going to make, like, a, a shrine, like, a Hall of Fame, like, graphic or something. It's going to look cool. Nice. It's going to look... That. Good! There it is. <laughs> so I'm going to really quickly here share the post of the week. Yeah. This is pretty sick, guys. Yeah. I'm going to let Mike talk up this post. Oh, what is this? Look at that. That's oh. all right. It'll do. Okay, got it'll two do. of the three. Look at that arm. Look at that arm. I've seen that somewhere. I've seen that's me. You can't see who posted it, though, is the issue. Yeah, I know. It's, that's the issue. It's fine. I'll talk it up. Guys. I posted this picture. Yeah. And if you if you follow me, my personal, you you'll see there's a comment from a verified Wawa account saying at Wawa and at Wawa and I quote, "This is awesome!" exclamation point smiley face, weed heart emoji to use your photo on our marketing channels. Reply with hashtag okay wawa if that's okay and of course we did and look at this this is the actual wawa account who posted up the picture they posted the picture and said literally friends forever heart hashtag biggest wawa fan and then gave me credit look at that i'll, I'll just i'll just do a little one of these yeah. so you see I was, gonna say, I was gonna say we could repost it to our story after this so you guys could check it out so yeah. thanks to Wawa for, for doing that. Super cool for sharing, uh, you know, our, my matching tattoos with, with two of my best friends, Adam and, and Mark. We got, we got the Wawa goose. It's kind of tough. Yeah, in an awkward spot. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of. <clears throat> just want to clarify, neither of those are uh, my tattoos. I don't know if anyone was thinking that, but it's not yeah, me. No, no that's it's clearly. My, yeah. Clearly, my arm there that is Mark's leg, and the leg that's cut off is Adam's leg. Uh, I'm gonna say it. pretty nice legs. I'm gonna say I'm just throwing <laughs> it. Out. I'm, I'm throwing it out there. All right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So thanks to Wawa. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Wawa. That's it's really sick, and it's uh, really sick. You guys got those tattoos too, all matching and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Wawa has uh, has definitely helped my. Uh, my my follower count and my the likes on my picture. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sweet. So thanks, Wawa. We're uh, we're in this together. But yeah, Wawa's Wawa's pretty cool for that. I think that was awesome. I don't know. Oh, how'd you do that? I'm yeah, you know, just really cool with it. You know what I'm saying? No, we're we're learning here. We're learning. <laughs> this technology stuff is crazy, but um, that's crazy. So I got I got a question for you. <clears throat> I'm ready. Uh, getting a Nisto Bros tat soon. Holy <laughs> sugar, honey, iced tea, Joey P. Joey P. If you do that, if you get a Nisto Bros tattoo, oh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. You know what? Who's watching this? <laughs> Can you bleep me out? When, no, when we, got, we, got all, when, we have all adults. Yeah, well, when, you, when you put the audio up, bleep this part out. Okay. Joey P, fuck it. If you get that, I'll pay for it. I there said it. it. I said it. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Sick. I don't know if he's serious. He's probably yeah. not. Yeah. But if Just he is. Joshing around. It's there. Fuck. Hey. I'll get it. The I'll get it there. too. <laughs> I'll get it too. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. I'm I might cry. <laughs> he says, Wow, Joey P. Guys a I almost swore again. I don't want to take advantage of the, the sensor. Big incentive to get it <laughs> on your neck. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, right here. Right here. Right <laughs> right along the forehead. Right along the forehead. Hashtag Nisto Bros. Right across right across the dome. No, not actually. Uh you can pick the placement. Some more visible for everybody to see, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah. So I was gonna say I was gonna say a joke until uh, or not the joke. I had a question. Okay, fung, fungal. Catch yeah, what's the, the question? Yeah, question. So <clears throat> uh, I'm looking at the bracket and, and I'm looking at I see Big Daddy again, and I saw I was in the semis and and it reminded me of the scene where um, where where Adam Sandler is trying to watch the hockey game, 
and uh and and Frankenstein slash Julian was was taking a nap and then he and then he wakes up. But um Tramp Stanford CTFO. <laughs> Hashtag new stuff bros on the tramp stamp. I love that. Um so yeah, he, he he like wakes up from the nap while he's watching the game. So like it made me think if uh if he's refusing to nap, could uh could he be convicted of resisting arrest? Um <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no. Resisting <laughs> arrest. No, dude. <laughs> oh. Wow. You got me. You got me with the story, dude. The story I jokes. Do. The story jokes are great, honestly. Yeah, they are. They are. Oh, man, that was good. Would have really grabbed my tat after that joke. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't know. Uh, let's see if let's see if uh, Oz can make up for it. <laughs> so uh, we got it's a it's a bit of a two part. We it's a mm-hmm. I found uh, a uh, a Harry Potter themed joke okay. book in the house here. So what basketball player would make the best wizard? Yeah, you, you got the, you got the answer. I'm trying to think of something. Uh, I mean, it's got to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. No, well, he is Hall, Mr. Bros. Hall, Hall of Famer. Famer. Come on, he is, he is. But he, he's not gonna make uh, a good wizard. I think uh, it would be Magic Johnson. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. You know what? Maybe, maybe that isn't the best one. Maybe it would be. Blake Gryffindor. I don't want to be smiling at that. That's Come horrible. on, dude. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Blake Gryffindor. I like the Magic Johnson better. <laughs> okay. But there it is. I, I also don't like Blake Griffin. So okay, there's, okay. There's that. But <laughs> Blake Gryffindor, <laughs> Magic Johnson. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It is pretty ridiculous. I like. It. I like it, dude. Joey P's not gonna get this tattoo now because our jokes are crap. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the but, thing with the jokes, you know. You know. Yeah, they're they're good bad jokes. Oh, he's sending in hearts now, so I, I guess he liked the Magic Johnson Blake Gryffindor joke. It was it was pretty good. I think <clears throat> I think we need to do some kind of Harry Potter, maybe a Mount Rushmore. Sometime mm. soon, a Mount Rushmore Harry good. Potter Harry Potter characters. Characters. I mean, mm. I don't know. We'll, we'll work on something. We'll work on something, but we talk about Harry Potter a lot. That I think it would be only fair if we had a Harry Potter topic episode. Episode. Sure. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about it. I think next we didn't talk about what we're doing next week, but I think we're due for. I don't know. Do you want to do Spanish German guessing game? I think that is uh I think, I think that's, that's what we're up for for sure. Uh, well, we're doing it. So we're that's doing it. Edition number four next week. We're confirming it now. Confirming it. Yeah. Oh, we do got hoodies in the shop. Uh Joey hoodies. hit us up if you uh wanna get a hoodie. Uh we got all the designs, all the different yeah. colors. Hit us up for sure. Slide in the slide in the DMs. Oh hey. Uh like Harry Potter she, tattoo. Yeah. That's sick. You should get that one right next to your Nisto Bros tattoo. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> send in pictures of your Nisto Bros tattoos. <laughs> Guys, and, and and the offer was only for Joey P. I'm not trying to break the bank. <laughs> he he was the one that originated that. But if you do get that, that's effing awesome. We're definitely going to share it. And I'm going to cry. So yeah. do that. That'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hit us up if you want the uh, – the merch, you know, that merch. We're wrapping it up here, so going through all those things. Next week, gonna be Spanish German guessing game. Right on my the Harry Potter tattoo or the Nisto Bros one. Either way, I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, we uh, post the video version of the pod there. Um, and all the Nisto drinks and Nisto eats are going on there too, as, as well as Instagram TV. Nisto. Getting the Nisto. Right on the cheek. Mm. Beautiful. Um, what, what else do you what got? For? Uh, no, I, don't, I don't think I got anything. This was good. Uh, German Spanish guessing game next week. Gonna yeah. be good. I mean, it's always, it's always good. But uh, yeah, this was good. Uh, unanimous decision. Billy Madison, Hall of Fame, Adam Sandler movie. Um, if you guys got other ideas for Hall of Fame episodes or Mount Rushmore or anything, send it our way. We'll for do sure. it. Get your Nisto Bros merch. Get your Nisto Bros tattoos. Um, <laughs> I got a quick say, shout. <clears throat> uh, quick shout. For, and everyone listening to this afterwards or even here, let us know if you uh, like the. what time would you want the lives to be? Would you want them like noon, like we we've done, or you know, last time we did a little bit later in the day, like four. We did four thirty. You know, let us know. Comment, DM us. You know what you guys think. What uh, time works best for you guys to do the live? Because you know we want as many people in here so we can uh, get as much uh, interaction for the for the Hall of Fames. It's really important to us. So yeah, of I think course. that's that's about it. Noon is good for Joey P. That's Joey P's matters. always in here, dude. It's always mad. That always that's all that matters. Joey yeah, P. For sure. Send this send this to Bang. Send this to Bang, you know. Do kind that. Of, yeah. Tell him. Be like Nisto Bros want to get sponsored. Send it to Adam Sandler. We'll freaking talk about his movies. Mm-hmm. Uh who else did I send it to? I don't think I sent it to anybody else. Send it to everybody. Just do it. Yeah, share it out. Just, just do it. So come back next week for the German-Spanish guessing game. We're going to get kicked off soon. So let's hit him with the outro. All right. We got peace, love, sip on the shirt. Nice. Eat. Listen. Listen. Thanks, See you guys. guys and gals.